All right, guys. So I'm going to just walk you through how Fish website works. Uh, it's quite easy. This is their website, and there's really nothing much going on here. Unlike the SkyJet website, let me show you SkyJet website. Here in SkyJet website, a whole lot of things are going on. In fact, when you log in first, the first message you're going to see is your is a notification about their event we are sorry from you the zenith bank so maybe the zenith bank network is having an issue this is the one they posted during the holiday to inform you about chinese holiday then this is the dollar rate they will always you know update you with the current dollar rate and all of that if there's a change they will update it and if there's a shipping change they're going to change see this is their current shipping rates and all of these things so but in, then inside the website you can see your details you can track your goods you can see when a seller uh, brings in the goods you can see number of items that has, the seller has delivered to them the number of items they've received you can even apply for shipment you can track your goods and see where your goods uh is at the moment if it's still in the warehouse if it's been taken to the airport you can see goods has been taken to the airport shipment arrived nana airport and then up to when it arrives nigeria even up to when you pick it up this is signed it means you've picked it up you've collected your goods so uh you can also make your payments right here online you see you can just make your payments you can do all of this and you can see while your goose is on the way you can see the shipping fee you can see the dollar rate you can see your total kg and then you can even see the goods individual kg for each one what one each of the goods weigh uh you can see the, the picture of the item the way they received it in their warehouse so this is really a lot there are so much you can do here but then <laughs> when you come to fish website there's really nothing they don't care about all of those things all they just put here is whatever information they like they just put it that's all that's nothing easy. so it's not an app uh skyjet website is an app it's a web app but this one is just a, on a general website just a html and css website so what they expect you to do here is just to know if your goods has arrived or if it has been shipped or how you know that's all so you just come here you put if it is air goods because before you send goods to them you must inform your supplier to write on the goods that this is going to be air goods this is going to be let me see let me show you i think uh okay this is a supplier i have to send the supplier the ship information then i told the shop supplier to write my name write my number write my location and write my uh shipping method which is c goods all right i think uh, that's one i wrote in english let me see um okay this is uh, the, the information you must give to your supplier before you send goods to fish so if you just send it without writing all of those things then they are going to reject the goods okay look at it here put my name put my number put the shipping method and put my location so this is it. the customer the, the the supplier will now put all of those information before sending it to fish if you don't put all of these things they will reject your goods and if you don't put your location they are going to send it to lagos by default all right so say you're in onisha or abuja or kano so here now when you ship your goods you've told them it is sea goods they already know offline they, they are not doing anything online stuff so you just go and copy the tracking number like this is a skyjet this is a for example this is a sea goose that i shipped i'll just copy the tracking number from 1688 or your supplier will also give you see the same tracking number is here xfo 060 so you just come back to fish this is c for this second one is c if it is c paste that this thing here for c then you just track then it's going to give you all the information about that shipment you see the goods they received it on the 4th of september they loaded it on the 9th of september and then they ship it left china on the 24th of september then it contains two bags it's it weighs 0 0.2 cbm the unit price is 180 us dollars for one cbm so but what my own weighs 0 0.2 cbm which is around 295,000. then the total clearing fee is um $36. So this is their unit price. 
uh, unit price is 295,000. So my total clear, my total shipping fee is 36 dollars for this 0 0.2 CBM. This is a lot of goods. Let me show you the goods. It's really big. See, two cartons of of uh, of goods, big big cartons, and the cost is just thirty six dollars, and then the clearing fee is fifty nine thousand. So what I'm going to pay for these goods is thirty six dollars. I think their conversion rate is one thousand six ninety three. This is it plus fifty nine thousand for clearing. So I'm going to pay 119000 for all of these big goods, which is very, very cheap. So they just put the address. Because I chose Abuja, and I'm seeing the Abuja address here. If it's legal, so I'm going to be seeing their legal address. So there's really nothing uh, cool, uh, going on in this website except this information that you get. So when the goods now arrive, they are going to, as you can see, it's shipping. It means it's flying. So when it arrives, they're going to update arrived. When you pick it up, they're going to also update that you've picked it up and that's all.